Yes, indeed, and this is what they face, Danny, the farmer's walk, but with a twist. 660 pounds, who can carry it the furthest in one minute? You've got safe zones at either end, but if you drop it in the middle as you're carrying it, it will terminate your go. So first up, then, the Canadian, Boudreau. First time here, he is Canada's second strongest man. He really wants to make a name for himself today. Magnus van Magnussen, head referee, four times world's well, strongest man himself, watching. Obviously no crowd, no plus ones either, no coaches screaming them on, so it's a, a tricky one mentally for these guys. Maxime Boudreau has to think, how long do I rest at either end? The first length, 12 metres, and then it's 10 metres from here on in for each and every length, Danny. And if he drops it anywhere in the middle of the course, as you correctly pointed out, Colin, it's all over. A little bit longer there in the changeover. So much about grip, but also if you go a little too fast and they start swinging around, it will clip your legs and take you down very quickly. 32 metres, this is impressive for a debutante at World's Strongest Man. Hugely impressive. Breathing like a steam train now. What he's doing well, Danny, is he's picking them up evenly. Oh, he was a little to the back there. He's getting tired, he didn't really spot his grip, and that's what happens. Tapped a couple of times and it went down. So, Boudreau, let's have a look at his distance. 46.34 metres. Yeah, he's really set a benchmark there. Absolutely, yeah. Anyone who does, uh, who finishes that length off, 52 metres, they'll probably win their group. It'll be there or thereabouts, I think. On then, to the man they call the Albatross. Because of his wingspan. Those enormous <laughs> arms. The a, giant Scott. A big boy, isn't he? Now, his grip is perhaps one of the weaknesses that he has. Uh, it's not spotting the centre is another one of them. My goodness, he's gone right at the front. And uh, they're tapping on the floor at the back. But Magnus van Magnussen, he only sees that as a slight hindrance. So uh, he's not going to get terminated for that. Oh, my goodness, now they're pointing down <laughs> the other way. Oh, Tom. Well, it's very reminiscent of how I carry the shopping in. <laughs> Look at that. 22 metres in, so uh, almost halfway there, but he's quite slow and deliberate there, isn't he? He's getting tired, all that wasted energy just trying to keep them from uh, smacking off the floor. 18 seconds to go. And he is six foot eight. These logs have a long way to go. And crikey, the opposite pickup. One handles at the back, one handles at the front. Oh, this is tough if he makes it. Well done. Five seconds. Five seconds, what else can he do? Just a few inches will help. I don't think he's going to beat Boudreau. Good effort, though. Well, just a last-minute surge there from Tom Stoltman. 42.78 metres. It was like his brother told him to keep going. <laughs> it's, it's exactly like that, yes. His brother's here competing as well, and with no crowd, I think you could hear him clearly telling him, egging him on. Of course, they're the first-ever brothers to make the final last year. We watch uh, Novikov prepare, thanks to Shevlyakov. Yes, getting a little motivation from Shevlyakov. That would demotivate me, I have to be honest. <laughs> it's pretty harsh, isn't it? It's a wake-up call, I guess. So we're underway here, and he's, he's very light, very compact. Weighs around about 300 pounds in body weight, so he's uh, considerably lighter than each one of the implements he's carrying. Yes, but this is real... Real focus here from Novikov. Just get the job done. Gosh, he's quick, isn't he? Incredibly rapid foot speed. And he's not wobbly in the core either. He's managing to hold the weights out a little bit from his legs. Perfect grip each time. This is incredibly quick. He's well ahead of where Boudreaux was at this point. And he only has uh, 15 metres to catch him. A great balance. He even had time to chop his hands there. Oh, he's got just 18 seconds left on the clock. I think he could do another length and more, potentially. I'm starting to get a little less stable. Yes, he's not able to keep it away from his legs now. His shoulders are getting tired. There's also fatigue in that. Oh, one second, how far? Oh. <laughs> well, it all counts. Gave it a little slide. But Novikov takes the lead, 57.54 metres. 
So only two athletes remain to take on this 660-pound farmer's walk with an impressive distance by Novikov, who will take the early lead. Find out when we return with the farmer's walk on the SPD World's Strongest Man, presented by Rogue.